What's going on guys? Welcome back. We are here again for another unboxing of HuntBot's Elite subscription box. This is October's box and yes I know it's the second week of November, November 14th to be exact, but it's not my fault this time. Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit, but let's bust this thing open and see what we got. So, like I said, uh, we are uh, in the second week of November, but as soon as Huntball realized that they were going to be late, they started sending out emails. I actually got three emails. Uh, one was on the 25th of October, the second one was November 3rd, and then the final email was on the 11th of November. But at that point, I had already got my shipment uh, notification, so I knew it was on the way. All right, so first thing you're gonna find is a card with some featured brands on the front. And on the back, you're going to see a list of items with a brief description and a price for each item. So what we're gonna do is start at our cheapest item, work our way up to the most expensive item, and see if this box was worth our 150 bucks. So before we jump in, um, I wanted to read one of the emails to kind of give you an idea of why they were late. Uh, you know, they weren't just late. Uh, they had reason for it, but anyway, just let me read the email. Thank you for your support. We wanted to reach out with an update on October's box. Boxes have been delayed due to an incorrect item being shipped to us, which also arrived later than expected. We still anticipate kidding to begin towards the end of this week and will work as quickly as possible to get boxes out. We will stay in touch and send out tracking once yours is en route. We sincerely apologize for the delay and look forward to getting you your gear. These coming months will bring some of the best features shipped to date, including a dual modem cellular stealth cam and Costa Bloke polarized sunglasses. We appreciate your ongoing support. Please reach out if you have any questions or if there's anything we can do for you. Now, the other two emails, uh, the second one was saying in case you missed it, October's box was delayed due to an incorrect item. And the third one was a final update saying, uh, thank you for your continued patience. Uh, we're shipping out boxes now. And like I said, by that time, I'd already received my notification that it had been shipped. So I was good to go. Everybody gets a little antsy when it's, uh, you know, a week late or two weeks late. Everybody starts freaking out. But, you know, they're going to get you your box and uh, stuff happens. Uh, so, you know, cut them a break. So our first item is going to be the Tipton Note Rope. So... Looks like a boar snake. Let's read the description. Say nope to carbon, copper, debris, grime, and rust. Tipton Nope Ropes make cleaning your firearm an easy process with less mess. A patent pending bearing system allows the Nope Rope ends to connect to avoid the need for refeeding into the barrel with each pass. So apparently, um, basically a boar snake that connects together makes a loop. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, so it's, uh, I guess it's super long. And then, so you just connect these two ends together. And uh, so you pull it through and feed the other end back into the barrel. So this is a 30 caliber rope. Okay, so this little extension rope here, uh, it's like very small paracord. You'll put your long end through the end of the gun barrel and then pull it all the way through, reconnect it here. And then you'll pull the end with the bristles down through the barrel. And then you'll just keep pulling it out. And the other end is gonna reach the top of the barrel again and you just keep pulling it through. So that's pretty cool. Cool little hard case here too. So they've got our note rope listed for $10. All right, so our next item is the Plano medium shaped pistol case. That's gonna be it here. Hard sided pistol case. I'm sure it's got foam on the inside. Oh, yeah. 
So pretty basic pistol case. Um, it does have a locking hole here, uh, two uh, locks or latches, uh, full hinge on that one side. It's pretty light. Fits medium frame pistols, high density foam, lockable. Interior dimensions is 9.25 inches by two inches by 4.86 inches. Seems like a pretty durable case. I'm pretty sure this would be um, airline friendly. I've flown with uh, cases that were, uh, you know, about the same stature. So, it says thick walled construction surrounds two layers of high density foam in this compact pistol case. The unique size and shape is designed specifically to accommodate medium frame pistols Strong hinges secure user-friendly latches while padlock tabs hold firmly in place for dependable storage. So somebody with hobbies like me are bound to have uh, quite a few items that would uh, fit in something like this. So uh, adding to that inventory of uh, storage capabilities is never a bad thing. So they've got our pistol case listed for $13 and that's gonna put us at $23 so far. So next up, we've got, looks like some cutlery, the Outdoor Element Phoenix Feather Caping Blade. So, if you can see that, let's see, three inch blade, 6.02 inches overall. It's got a screwdriver tip and a quarter inch hex driver on the end of it. D2 blade steel comes with a little sheath. That's actually pretty nice. Really low profile. I don't know if you can tell how thick that is, but that looks like uh, an eighth inch here, uh, maybe three sixteenths to about three eighths right here, and uh, the knife itself is uh you know about an eighth of an inch thick so it's a pretty cool little knife here it's pretty sharp and uh sheath is uh kydex definitely kydex uh, with quite a few rivets so it should last a pretty good while pretty cool looking knife you could probably wrap the uh, handle with paracord to make it a little bit easier to grip Looks like you may be able to use that middle portion right there for a bottle opener. Uh, this is the hex driver they're talking about, and the tip here is a uh, little screwdriver. <clears throat> Snaps in pretty good. Holds pretty tough. Let's see what she says about it. The Phoenix Feather is made from ultra strong steel that holds an edge incredibly well and at the same time is relatively easy to sharpen. Features include D2 steel for great strength, screwdriver tip, quarter inch hex driver tip, and Kydex sheath with belt clip. So if you're looking for a uh, small, lightweight, uh, easily packed uh, knife to cape with, or uh, you could probably um, gut with this if you needed to. Uh, many uses for a knife, and uh, I have quite a few, so this would be a good addition to the collection. So they've got our caping knife listed for $40, and that's gonna put us at $63 so far. All right, so next up, we've got the Climate Drift Camp Pillow. And so I've gotten another item uh, in the past uh, from Climate. It was a inflatable LED strip light. Uh, so <clears throat> I didn't know what I was going to do with it, so I've got this big hunting box that I keep in the back of my side-by-side, -side, and I transport my clothes and everything in it so it doesn't pick up all the scents around. And uh, so I've opened that thing many times in the dark to pull stuff out of it to get ready to go get in the stand. And, uh, you know, I just pull that thing out, blow it up, and uh, plug it into a little battery pack I keep there, and it lights up the whole box. When I'm done, I just unplug it and throw it in the box. Good to go. So it's a pretty useful thing. Uh, I've never heard of climate before then, so. So, climate drift camping pillow. Uh, it says regular, so I guess this is the regular size. 
let's see, it's 18 inches by 12 inches by 5.5 inches. Weighs 19.1 ounces. Uh, so apparently this right here is a protective cover and it's kind of turned inside out. It says shredded memory foam and gel fiber core strikes the balance between support and comfort. That's really cool. Uh, I've been in some situations where I wished I had a pillow. This would really come in handy in a situation like that. You know, if you're tent camping or uh, you know any kind of primitive uh, camping, this would be really good. So I don't know if you can see there, it shows uh, some directions on how to open it up and uh, put it back in the pack. So anyway, that's definitely pretty cool. Uh, I'll get some use out of that at some point. <clears throat> You know, the older I get, the more sleep I need. So their little description here says the drift pillow is a versatile shredded memory foam pillow that strikes the perfect balance between support and comfort features a durable, easy to clean water resistant outer shell for travel. When it's time to go to sleep, these camping slash backpacking pillows morph from travel friendly use to a soft Jersey cotton pillow. So pretty cool little item. Uh, I really like how small it packs down. You know, I could even throw this in my hunting box. Uh, you never know when you're gonna need an extra pillow. So they've got our pillow listed for uh, $45 and that's going to put us at $108 so far. So that brings us to our featured item and that is going to be the Birchwood Casey Echo Shooting Rest. And I see some extra goodies in there. So. Uh, stay tuned for that. So, pretty badass looking shooting rest. It says designed to fit most rifles and shotguns. Steel frame design with adjustable leveling feet. Non-slip rubber stock rests. The front rest has 3.5 inches of elevation adjustment. Uh, the rear rest has 3.25 adjustment uh, to fit various rifles and shotguns. Frame center, four inches front to back adjustment. This thing's actually pretty hefty. Um, I'd say it probably weighs uh, five or six pounds. But uh, now that ammo has come down a little bit, I will probably get to put this to use uh, shortly after uh, deer season is over with. And uh, maybe I'll do a, another video on uh, this guy. So let's see what our description says. Durable and adjustable Birchwood Casey designed the Echo shooting rest with a rugged steel frame capable of fitting rifles with barrels as short as 7.5 inches. Features a non-slip rubber stock rest and adjustable leveling feet, which ensure a solid setup for consistent shots time after time. Front sight delivers three inches of elevation adjustment, while the rear sight offers two inches, which is a little bit different from the box, but blackout design exclusive to hunt vault. So another hunt vault exclusive. That's pretty cool. Uh, I like that hunt vault's always doing uh, collaborations with all these other brands. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. So they've got our shooting rest listed for $90 and that's going to put us at $198 so far. Uh, now the reason I say so far on our featured item is because I found extra goodies in the box. So I don't know why it's on the list here, but let's see what we got here. We got Buck Bomb Forehead Gland Synthetic Scent Wafers. So it's that time of year where the scents kind of come out and you know everybody's trying to lure in that big buck. These are individually packaged and it looks like there is three of them and basically they look like a car air freshener. It's a pad with a string attached to it so you can hang it from a limb, hang it from your stand. See what it says on the back. Buck Bomb Synthetic Forehead Gland Scent Wafers are an ideal way to create a licking branch to accompany a mock or natural scrape in an effort to draw deer near your stand or as a way to get deer in front of your trail cameras. It says easy to use, simply remove the scent wafer from the packaging, hang it, and hunt. And it says dual threat, utilize mul multiple wafers at once, hang wafers at varying distances for yardage reference. It is yellow, so it's kind of like a little flag to say, okay, well, you know, it's 20, 30, 40 yards. Uh, so I guess that uh, would create a rub line. 
So I don't know why this wasn't on the list, uh, but we'll assume that it costs $10. And so that's going to put us at a total of $208 this month. So if you ask me, that was a pretty good haul this month. We had $58 return on investment, which turns out to be uh, 35 to 40%. Pretty excited to see what comes up in the next few months. We got the email from Hunt Vault saying that there would be some Costa sunglasses, uh, stealth cam, cellular cam. So we got some pretty cool stuff coming up. Can't wait to see it. If you haven't already, go check out huntvault.com. Make sure you check out their Facebook page. They're always running promotions for new subscribers. You can sign up for a month to month subscription for 160 bucks, or you can sign up for an annual subscription for 150 bucks a month. These guys are always putting in a lot of thought to curate these boxes to the seasons it's in and uh, you know items that anybody who hunts or camps uh, is gonna use. So I've been a subscriber for over two years now and I haven't been disappointed once. So go check them out. I think you'll love it. Stay tuned. We should be getting another box here in the next few weeks. So until then, we'll see you guys next time in Rob's Man Cave.